Yeah, there are the jaws. What a super! Under them again with the BK Lurgon! Here, there it goes. Stop. Wasn't my idea to go back to the middle! Oh, For the next fight, it's already been filmed! Oh, let's just trigger the flag. Oh, they do get the win! They're dead. Oh, they've been gutted into the bowels. All right, guys. Welcome to the first fight of episode two of the round of sixteen. It is Limpet and Doc. This is going to be a high flying match because there are no spinners. Yep. This is uh, one of the honestly, first Humble Bots fights ever with no spinners. Honestly, Humble Bots fights with no spinners usually end up better anyway. So. And that's sadly true because it's always back and forth. Um, except for like fights with Warbird, but. Well, shut up. <laughs> uh, we were going to use this wedge, but Theo decided it was too damn ridiculous. Uh, I don't think we were, but that's fine. No, we weren't, but I was, um... You, you're, you're, you're kidding. Live it on our prep. All right, here we go. All right, are you ready? Oh, wait, we didn't put the job. Dude, I just, my heart just dropped. Oh, really? Okay. My heart just dropped. All right. So Limpet and Doc, two of Hummelbots' finest pushers are going at it. Limpet with a record of 2-1, and one, and so was Duck. Two newcomers this season, they've really left a mark, and right now, Limpet is the one decisively pushing around its foe, Duck, over in the blue square area. Now Duck circling away, back towards mid-arena, and the two are going to circle each other on the Hummelbots logo. Limpet almost flipping Duck over. I mean, Duck himself, right, so it would have just scored some aggression points, but hey, it can't hurt to try, right? Can also rack up damage from arena hazards that does count as damage so if they're able to damage them then that would have gotten them some points uh, right now we are going to fix the arena flipper and while we do that I want to apologize for um, this video being late I wanted to release it about a week ago but we went to Florida uh, my family it wasn't my choice and I forgot my SD card I had my microphone but I forgot the SD card so I couldn't record any uh, commentary or do any fights because uh, the fights were on my SD card so yeah we're back anyways resuming the fight oh, oh duck dispatching of flipping flipping him over assist from the jaws of death and I think that's gonna be it and yep the jaws of death limpet trying to use them but it falls into the drop zone Victory spin initiated by Duck, and I think they're going to take this one and move on to the round of eight. Limpet, yet a good rookie season, but in the end, you're going to fall to two and two on the season, counting down from four, three, two, one, and that's it. Duck moving on and snatching this one up on a second's notice. Dang it, I was doing so good. Uh, one shot! All oh, he takes! All right. Duck moves on. It'll fight the winner of Bronco versus free shipping, which we're going to do. So basically, next. we're going to find Bronco. Yeah, probably. All right, let's go. We live in a society. All right. <laughs> we live in a society. It Welcome, is Sub -Zero. bitches! Sub Zero versus Cottonmouth. This could be the best fight of this round. You realize that, right? So far, the best fight of the round is Warhawk versus Blacksmith. Mm, I disagree, actually. What do you think of this? Um, I think it was uh, the Plow versus Warhawk. Oh, yeah. That one. I mean, just because it was a dismemberment. <laughs> it wasn't the closest fight. There's but nothing the better fight. than just the Tombstone Counter Revolution fight. Exactly. So this is going to be really close. Uh, Sub Zero has been driving better than ever recently. Uh, they got, um, I think, arguably a more powerful flipper than Bronco. So there is some and of course, reason for um, Sub Zero to be. I afraid. am back with the controls for Cotton now. So yeah, it's a driving war. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm much lower than him. So he's going to have to find some sort of way to get around to the sides and just drive really well to win this. And all it takes for me to win is one flip. So well, we're not doing the three flip flip. No, we're not. <laughs> um, we'd only do it if. Anyways, all right, you ready? So, this should be a fun one. Sub Zero and Cottonmouth. 
Sub Zero getting a nice flip in there onto Cottonmouth. Uh, onto Cottonmouth's piece, more specifically. But now Cottonmouth with a nice push with those little forks on the back. Interesting, it didn't go for that green wedge that it always does. I think it maybe has something to prove that it can win without that green wedge. Right now, obviously, using that wedge, the spinner not going to do too much against Cottonmouth. There isn't really any pieces to get damaged. And again, nice pin by Cottonmouth here, doing what it does, winning with the wedge. It might as well not even have a drum spinner because this is how it wins fights. But hey. It does it, it wins, and you can't take that away from it. Pinning Sub-Zero into the drop zone as the drop zone does come down onto it. And again, nice pin by Cottonmouth here. And Sub-Zero definitely struggling here, but remember, all they need is one flip. Cottonmouth cannot self-right. So if Sub-Zero can get out of this treacherous drop zone area, they're going to be looking a lot better. Oh, nearly flipping Cottonmouth there. That was bone crunchingly close that time as you can see sub-zero just having so much difficulties turning and that may have been their best shot and it is coming gone so sub-zero really struggling in this matchup we're probably about a minute in here and cottonmouth being the aggressor being the one doing the damage watch out here that they're showing their backside cottonmouth coming up onto the front Showing a lot of aggression there, flipping Cottonmouth forward, who actually, you can see that drum smack the ground a little bit. And Sub-Zero here, trying to get the angle, will they have it here? Yes, they do! Flip! There you go! Cottonmouth, over and out, and Sub-Zero will move on to the Elite Eight. And Cottonmouth, so many expectations this season, is gonna go out here unless Sub-Zero decides to be Metal Siege. Nope. Three, two, one. Knockout win for Cottonmouth. Damn! Wow, so Sub-Zero... That was a huge knockout. Yeah, that was awesome. Did you see how massive that flip was? That was a great fight. That was really... That was a chess match, dude. That was an... I was driving so good! And I just got you. I just got you. You got me. Wow. That one flip changes everything. That was a great fight, though. Awesome fight, man. Yeah. Awesome fight. So... Now it's time for the round of eight. We're going to go over No, it's not! Inferno! Right, we have one more God time. damn it, Theo! Sub-Z, um... Frostbite Inferno! Yes, okay. <laughs> Broncovers, free shipment. Bronco coming off of an undefeated regular season. For, I think, uh, the second time in Humblebot's history. Might be the second time, yeah. Because I know they did it in season one. Uh, they're the only bot, I believe, to have two undefeated regular seasons. Yes, they are. Oh, uh, Cottonmouth? Cottonmouth, no! No, because they lost this season. They lost to Tombstone, who is no longer in the f***ing competition. Um, we... <laughs> Luckily, we did come to a resolution on that fight. <laughs> we did, yeah, because I was, I was very heated, and, um, things were getting bad. Just leave it at that. Well, we're, we're just gonna leave it at that. Theo, play the clip one more time! Yes! Can I play the whole thing? No! Okay. <laughs> no! Because the whole thing is pretty fun. The whole It's very funny, but I don't want that, because I... No. Please, just no. Fair enough. Alright. I was going to glue this side panel on to free shipping, but... Okay. Dude, I'm so fast. Yep. <laughs> free shipping's got a bone. Um, they're on their last leg, so let's just put it that way. Alright. Alright. Actually, let's switch squares. It feels right for you to be in the right square. Yeah, because I'm the evil one. Alright. I'll see you. Oh no! Oh shit! Get! Oh my god! Well, that was quick. <laughs> All right, do it again. <laughs> Bronco, moving what? on. That was utter dominance in every fashion okay. of the world. We're gonna film 
Uh, Sub Zero versus Cottonmouth, which is the final fight of the round of 16. No, it is not. You're forgetting about Inferno. All oh, right. Okay. We'll film that. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta throw. I mean, Hummelbots is about the memes mostly, though, so we gotta throw in the memes. Though. It's not. It's now. It's it's becoming more serious. Yeah, it's becoming more serious, but people know it for the memes. All right, you good? Yep. So Frostbite is using is using Warbird's chassis. Um, and now look at this shit. Yeah, uh, we finally fixed the weapon spin up issue because it uses Warbird's module, so it just gets that speed. The nice thing about the new Warbird is that it doesn't even have to be glued in place. I just take the weapon bar off and it's good. Yeah. So um, how'd you kids? How'd you wives? It's gonna be a fun one. So it's a rematch of the regular season. Don't use the Olympic panel. Oh my God, you're so fucking pippy. I have a different one. Then where's my fucking panel? Then? I have a different one. Then go find it. Uh, that's that's the other one, but pal. Yeah. No, no, I, I, <laughs> I specifically hear it. Does, does it matter? They don't give a crap. They, I do. They just want to see, because you're a picky bitch. <laughs> there the So yet another rematch this postseason, this one of one of our best fights of the season, Inferno and Frostbite, duking it out. And in the first 10 seconds, a nice exchange there for Frostbite, getting a couple of nice hits. Now Inferno wedging in, Frostbite losing a side beast, being pushed into the corner, and they might be stuck. I think Frostbite is going to be done unless Inferno wants to take them down. It looks like they're trying to take them down. Trying to be good sportsmen here, but you can see the wheels on Frostbite are turning, but there is no motion. Heck, even the weapon was spinning there for a second, but now nothing is happening. That disc just high enough to be caught on that side, and Inferno, call it luck, call it whatever you want, but it looks like they're going to take the win here. You can see the countdown going to start soon here. There it is as we count down from 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and that's a knockout inferno triumphing over frostbite again history repeats itself history repeats itself that's the one who said it was gonna be a good match i won the episode yep all right on to the round of eight i gotta win those fights to save some face <laughs> all right see you guys well played